In today's video, I'm going to be sharing five anti-aging ingredients that I feel work the best to soften fine lines and wrinkles, to give your skin that brighter complexion, and to improve texture and tone. Now, I've been using these ingredients for a very long time, and they have performed really well on my combination acne-prone skin. For reference, I am 36 years old, so of course, I'm starting to see some fine lines, and of course, that is normal as we age. We should embrace some of the fine lines that we do develop, but it's also nice to use products to help slow down the process as well. So if you are looking to improve your morning and nighttime skincare routine, then hopefully I can introduce you to a few new products today. Of course, you can use majority of them on an everyday basis, or you can use some of them a couple of days a week. So these products are going to be linked below for you for your reference. So as I talk about each ingredient, I will recommend a few products along the way. So let's get right into that first ingredient. All right, so the first product that I really wanna talk about first, and I feel like a lot of us use this product already, and it's a vitamin C serum. Now, vitamin C serums are really lovely to give your skin that brighter complexion, and if you are suffering from dark spots and post-acne marks, then of course, this ingredient can really help brighten up and fade these areas over time. But not to mention, I mean, vitamin C can also help to soften fine lines as well, and they can protect our skin from free radicals, which is everyday pollution. So vitamin C really is the best to use in your morning skincare routine, but if you wish to use it at nighttime, I mean, you can totally do that as well. It's still going to be beneficial, but when you use it in the morning, it really does help to protect the skin from pollution, so just keep that in mind. But one of my favorite vitamin C serums of all time is from Timeless. Now I have a lot of favorite vitamin C serums. I like the one from Paula's Choice, I like the SkinCeuticals one, there are many, and most of them do the exact same thing. It just depends on the brand that you wanna use, what's your budget, and also what percentage are you looking to use as well, because there are different percentages. So this one from Timeless is a 20%. They also have a 10% option as well, so it won't be as harsh and irritating for some. And then of course there are 15% concentrations out there and lower. This one I feel works the best on my skin. My skin tolerates really well to this. There's ferulic acid and vitamin E in here, and it's very thin and lightweight, and it really does the job to brighten up the complexion. So once you achieve that nice glow brighter complexion, you want to keep that going by using that vitamin C serum that is working for you. Now this one is L-ascorbic acid, which is the purest form of vitamin C, the most unstable form, and also the vitamin C that I feel works the best and that works the quickest. But L-ascorbic acid can also be very irritating on a lot of skin types. So you may want to choose a vitamin C derivative, and these are still great. They're going to perform. They might take a little bit longer to work, but they're going to be more gentle on the skin. So keep that in mind. So depending on how sensitive your skin is, you can either go with L-ascorbic acid, or of course you can go with a derivative. Now this brand doesn't have a derivative, but you can find a lot of derivatives from The Ordinary and of course from other brands. But this is absolutely outstanding. I put a couple of pumps into my hand and of course I apply it in my morning routine. If I'm not using this, I am using a different ingredient, which of course we will go over in just a minute. But vitamin C really is great for that brighter complexion. Now before I move on to the next ingredient, I want to mention that antioxidants in general, which vitamin C is an antioxidant, if you can't use a vitamin C, then I would recommend finding a different type of antioxidant because this is basically going to do very similar things to what vitamin C does for our skin. So again, brighter complexion, softening fine lines, and to protect our skin from everyday pollution. So one of my favorite antioxidant serums is the one from The Ordinary. This is the resveratrol 3% plus ferulic acid 3%. So this is a product that you can use on an everyday basis. You could use this twice a day if 
you really wanted to. And you can also pair this up with your vitamin C serum if you choose to do that as well. And generally when I'm using my vitamin C, whether it's this or from another brand, I do like to incorporate this product with it because they are both antioxidants and they just really perform well in terms of that nice pairing. So this is another option to look into if you can't use vitamin C. It is less irritating, but please keep in mind that when I first started using resveratrol plus ferulic, my skin did have a little bit of a tingling sensation at first, and I do believe I had a little bit of dryness with that product as well. So maybe start slow and gradually increase just to see how your skin does. But now that I have been using resveratrol for quite a while, like several years, my skin doesn't react to it anymore and my skin just looks so glowy when I use it. The next ingredient is a peptide and there are so many different peptide products out there. I have talked about this ingredient a lot on my channel, specifically from certain brands, but peptides really help to firm the skin. It really does help to increase collagen production. So there are several types of peptides out there and then of course you have have copper peptides. So I have a lot of products that I can recommend and not long ago I shared my favorite peptide serums. So if you haven't seen that video and you want to check it out, I will leave that video below for you in my description box. But one of my favorites is the Ordinary Buffet plus Copper Peptides 1%. This has been newly named to Multi-Peptide plus Copper Peptides 1%. Same formulation, just a different name. And this one has that nice copper ingredient, so that's where you get Get that nice blue coloring to the serum and copper really can help to stimulate new collagen as well so I feel like you're getting a double whammy with your regular peptides but also with that additional copper peptide ingredient and I have seen the best results with copper peptides versus just your regular peptide serum of course that's just based on my experience with this you may see better results with a regular peptide serum but this really is outstanding and Neod also has one. It's the Copper Amino Isolate Serum. That one is very similar to the Ordinary. A little bit different in terms of ingredients and texture. I love that one as well, but this one is a little bit more affordable, so that's why I wanted to mention this one. Another great option for a regular peptide serum would be the Paula's Choice Pro Collagen Multi-Peptide Booster. So there's no copper in this one, but this one contains multiple peptides, so you're getting more than one here. And this one is also very lovely. It absorbs into the skin. It gives your skin this nice plump, look to it but also with consistency your skin can appear firmer and it just looks more youthful at the same time. Now if you wish to use a cream based product that contains peptides then I really love the Dermatology Peptide Night Cream. I have a discount code for you guys if you wish to purchase this or anything else from Dermatology. You can get 20% off by using my code Sincerely Massage. But I really like this one specifically for the fall winter months because it's very rich and very moisturizing, but you're also getting the benefits of those peptide ingredients. And I feel like if I pair this up with, let's say the Polish Choice Peptide Serum or some other type of peptide serum, I just feel like the two work really well together. Of course, it's not necessary to use a peptide serum with a peptide cream. One or the other is sufficient enough, but this is a night cream. This is thicker and richer so you could use this in your morning routine you may or may not feel like this is suited based on the types of sunscreens you use or the makeup it is a little bit heavier for daytime but now that we're coming into fall this actually might be a great option for you you'll have to play around but I like to keep this strictly for my nighttime routine and when I'm not using vitamin C in my morning skincare routine then I'm incorporating a peptide of some kind the next ingredient is alpha hydroxy acids also known as AHAs. Now, not only does this ingredient help to exfoliate the skin so it can really help to improve texture, but it also helps to improve your tone of the skin as well. So if you have post acne marks, dark spots, you have that dull looking complexion, AHAs can really help to brighten up your skin, but at the same time, it can help to soften fine lines and wrinkles also. So I love incorporating alpha hydroxy acids once or twice a week, depending on how I feel and how my skin is. This type of acid, depending 
depending on which one you're good with, it can be a little bit sensitizing and drying on the skin. So one of my favorite AHAs is lactic acid because I feel like it's the most gentle on my combination skin and it's not too harsh, but it's also not too mild either. I feel like it's like that nice happy medium strength and it really works nice on those that have dry skin. Again, I have combination skin, still works great on my skin type. Now, even though I love lactic acid, there are two products that I really like that contain multiple different types of AHAs. And I do feel like these types of products work a little bit better, a little bit quicker in terms of seeing that glowy, brighter complexion. So one of my favorite brands and products is by Dr. Dennis Gross, and this is the Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peels. So we have the one peel here, which is going to exfoliate. It has all of those AHAs in them. You want to apply the pad all over your skin for about a minute, and then you want to wait one minute prior to going in with the number two treatment. And this is basically a neutralizer. So this is going to help bring your skin back to that natural pH level. But in this treatment number two, there is retinol and there's some other fabulous anti-aging ingredients as well. So if your skin can tolerate to this, you can honestly use this every single day or every other day. But for me personally, I use this maybe once or twice a week and I just love the way that my skin looks and feels after I've used this. You almost see immediate results once you've used it because your skin just looks so bright and glowy. So there are different strengths. This is the universal. They do have an extra strength one and they also have one that is for sensitive skin so this is basically in the middle of both and I like this one a lot better I also really like the first aid beauty facial radiance pads so same idea as the dr. Dennis grows this is going to exfoliate your skin but this one has two types of AHAs so there's glycolic and lactic acid in here and then of course we have aloe and some other additional ingredients to really help keep the skin nice and comfortable this one would be best suited for those that have that sensitive skin type I feel like this isn't as powerful as the Dr. Dennis Gross, but remember they do have a sensitive option if you wish to go that route. But you're getting more anti-aging ingredients with this. So in treatment number two, there's retinol, ascorbic acid, resveratrol. There are multiple types of AHAs, whereas this one you're just getting lactic and glycolic acid. And there's nothing wrong with those two ingredients. They are fabulous. But it's nice to use either something like this or this or some other type of AHA on a weekly basis because not only are you going to see improvements with your skin but it's going to allow your other skincare products to work better because we will not have that layer of dead skin in the way right all of our products are going to absorb into our skin a lot nicer and they're going to perform better at the same time so any type of AHA is going to be wonderful but if you can find one that is suited for your skin type stick with it and be consistent the next ingredient is azelaic acid and this this really is wonderful for a lot of skin concerns, but best for those that have redness. Maybe you have rosacea, you're acne prone, you have texture, but also if you have that uneven skin tone where you have post acne marks, dark spots, and possibly maybe you have melasma, then azelaic acid can be great to use. Now, of course, I am not a dermatologist, I am not a doctor, so always do your own research and seek professional advice prior to using anything, but azelaic acid really is great for all of those skin concerns. Now, I like a lot of different types of azelaic acids, and you can find a lot of options over the counter. So The Ordinary has the azelaic acid suspension 10%, and the Inc has an azelaic acid serum. So the one from The Ordinary is a cream base, the one from The Inculus is a serum. But I like the one from Finacea. This is the azelaic acid gel at a 15% concentration. So this is prescribed by my dermatologist. So here in Ontario, the 
this is considered a prescription because it's at a 15% concentration. So a little bit stronger than the Inculus and the Ordinary. But since being consistent with azelaic acid, honestly, I have seen the biggest difference with my skin. And I have mentioned this a few times already, especially if you've been here for a while, because I am somebody that has a little bit of redness to my skin naturally. And azelaic acid has really reduced on a lot of that rosiness that I was experiencing on my cheeks and my chin, but also I am breakout prone and azelaic acid has really decreased on my breakouts. But since introducing azelaic acid in my routine and pairing it up with the next ingredient that I'm about to talk about, honestly, my skin has improved dramatically. So this ingredient is going to really help soften those dark spots. It's going to give you that brighter complexion in time. And hopefully this will improve your redness as well, like it did for me. And azelaic acid also has a calming effect to it. So I feel like this is very gentle and I've never experienced irritation or dryness with this, especially paired up with the next ingredient, but even on its own, I I've never had an issue with any side effect of any kind. Of course, we are all different, but I just really like it because it works with my combination skin. And the fact that I'm seeing great results, I'm just blown away. And the last ingredient is retinoic acid, also known as tretinoin. And this ingredient is great for many skin concerns as well. But if you have fine lines and wrinkles, that uneven skin tone, and you're acne prone, this really is a lovely ingredient to use at nighttime in your evening skincare routine. So many people who experience breakouts and a lot of acne, their dermatologist will prescribe them tretinoin as an acne treatment. But then of course, a lot of people start using this as a preventative for signs of aging. And then of course, most people use this once they see fine lines and wrinkles and that uneven skin tone. So tretinoin is considered a medication in most countries, but there are some countries where you can purchase this over the counter and there are different brands and strengths out there. I am using the Stevia A brand and this is the tretinoin cream at a 0.05% and my dermatologist prescribes this to me and I live here in Ontario. Now I have been on tretinoin for almost four years, four years this fall to be exact, and I have loved my experience along the way. Of course, I didn't exactly love the dryness and irritation and the redness that I experienced along the way and to be honest with you, even four years later, I still experience that a little bit from time to time, but the results are so worth it. And the results that I have seen in terms of texture and the tone of my skin has dramatically improved. Before using tretinoin, I had a lot of discoloration on my cheeks. I had some post acne marks. I also had some sun damage on my cheeks as well. And not to mention I was acne prone. So not only did this help to clear up my acne, but it also really helped to give my skin more of that even skin tone. So this will help to soften fine lines and wrinkles, especially surface wrinkles. But if you have really deep set wrinkles, this isn't going to erase them. It might help to soften them a little bit, but it works the best on fine lines and surface wrinkles. And then of course, texture and tone. So if you can get your hands on tretinoin, I really do recommend it. I use this in my evening skincare routine about four to five or maybe six times per week. I do like to keep some off days during the week where I can incorporate an alpha hydroxy acid or a peptide of some kind. I do like to take a break a few times per week, but the more consistent I am with this, the better off my skin looks. It just looks so much brighter, the texture and tone just looks so improved, and my skin does look more youthful now than it did before starting tretinoin. But if you can't get your hands on tretinoin, retinoic acid, then start using a retinol or even a retinaldehyde. So those are the five anti-aging ingredients that I feel are worth investing in. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. And most importantly, I hope I was able to introduce you to something new today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask away in that comment section and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And of course, these products are going to be linked below for you for your reference. Now, I'm also gonna link up some related videos as well. So I'm going to link up my favorite peptide video, my favorite vitamin C serums. I'm 
I'm going to link up some tretinoin videos as well, like the best tretinoin hacks, the best tretinoin pairings, and what products you can use with tretinoin to help with dryness and irritation. And if you want to see how I use tretinoin with azelaic acid, I'm going to link up my personal nighttime routine below for you as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. Take care, and I will see you all then. Bye, guys.